Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video, we are gonna see how you can customize your WordPress login page. By default, WordPress provide you with this login page and you can change it from this to this or maybe this. Actually, you can do whatever you want. But before proceeding further, you might be having one question in your mind that why to have a customized login page. Well, it's only for the purpose of professionalism. You can surprise your visitors who will try to spy on your website admin login page or you can also show off in front of your friends. It actually totally depends upon you how you take it. Now let's proceed further and see how you can customize your WordPress login page. So this is the website in which we are going to have this customization. This is an e-commerce website from our last video and if you are interested in knowing how we have made this video in just 15 minutes, you can also check out that video. Link will be in the description box and i button as well. First of all, let me just begin with showing you how we have our login page right now. So we need to type here slash wp-admin in front of my URL. So you can see here we have this login page right now. So we are going to customize this login page. So we need to type here our username and the password and then hit over login. So at the back end here, what we need to do, we need to go to plugins, click on add new. And here at the search bar, we need to search here for custom login. Then we will have this plugin here by the name of custom login page customizer. So we need to activate this one first we need to install it i have already installed it so we need to activate this one by clicking over activate here after activating this plugin we will have login press option here so we need to hover here and go to customizer and then by default we have this section right here we have these small icons here at various places so we can customize each and everything here Let's start with this one so if i click here over the change template you can see here we have various templates available but they are for paid version so we need to go for only this one which says default it's actually free we will have a default look like this otherwise you can also pay for these various templates if you want to now we have this change background option so if i click here we can decide our background image in this manner and you can choose whatever you like so if i go with this one we will have a background like this and here in this section if i click here we can decide our logo as well so if i click here over select image and let's suppose i want this image here so if i click here and choose image you can see here we have our logo at the top we can decide the logo width its height space from the bottom and we can customize it according to our wishes so let's suppose here we don't want any logo so we can also disable logo and it will be gone here in this button section we have customize button option so if i click here we can decide the color of button so let me go with black for now it will be shown something like this and when i hover over it currently it's blue so if i go down here we have a button color in bracket we have hover here so we can change it to white so it will be shown something like this now our text is also white so we need to change the text as well so we have here button text color on hover we have white now so we can change it to black so it will be shown something like this now we have button border color for hover if i change it to black we can see here we have our black border when I hover my cursor over it. Also what we can do we can customize this section here. So if I click here currently we are having this text that says forget password. So if I click here I can type whatever I want. So currently it's on forget password. So I can also type here forget your password like this and it will be appearing here right in this section so we need to publish this and let's have a look over our website let me go for another browser i'm using internet explorer for this 
and if I type my website URL here and press slash WP admin in front of it you can see here we have this custom login page for our website now what we want we don't want this white background here so how can we fix it so if I go to this part here again in my Google Chrome and if I click here over customize form we can enable form transparency so if I click here you can see here my form is now currently transparent and if I publish this and see in my this browser if I refresh this page you can see I have a look like this but for now let's disable the transparency and publish it like this so in this manner you can also change few things you can change whatever you like if you want to change your background image and you want to set your own image so you can just click over background image go down you can select any image you want for example this image here so if I click here and choose this image you can see it's looking something like this if I publish this go to my internet explorer and I refresh this page you can see we have a look like this so in this way you can customize your wordpress login page according to your wishes and give your wordpress website a professional look a professional design so that's it for now if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming wordpress related content